state governments often fly under the radar of national scrutiny. But the Queensland Labor government needs to be exposed for what it is. Not because they wear red T-shirts and I wear a blue one, but because their mismanagement of health is costing lives. Queensland is the most decentralised state in the country and it generates the bulk of its wealth in rural and regional areas, predominantly through the agricultural, mining and tourism industries. But Queensland Labor have been pulling health services out of these areas for years and it has reached a crisis point. For pregnant women in Queensland's regions, the maternity wards and postnatal care that they used to be able to count on has now been removed. Without these vital services, regional towns just wither and die. But when they say a health service for a community like Gladstone, a town of 65,000 people and 600 births a year doesn't have a functioning maternity service, what they're really saying is they don't think your community is worth it. You're not worth it. And just in case the size of the problem isn't clear, I'm going to list them all. Since 1998, Labor has closed maternity services in Babinda, Mossman, Yapoon, Mount Morgan, Maura, Springshaw, Barkeldean, Blackall, Winton, Jandowi, Miles, Taroom, Texas, Wandai, Bowen, Claremont and Collinsville, Dysart, Moranbar, Kilcoy, Mullaney, Mitchell, Quilpie, Weeper, Gainda, Maryborough, Monto, Mundabra, Gatton, Tully, Theodore, Nambour, Cunnamulla and Charters Towers. Right now, Gladstone, Biloela and Chinchilla are all on bypass. Women in these districts are now faced with the very real prospect of giving birth by the side of the road or having to move from home into a city like Rockhampton in the final weeks before the due date. It's not always an option particularly for farming families who already have children to care for or mining families when dad is on FIFO. And all of that assumes that things go to plan and arrive on time. And as any mother knows, that is so far from guaranteed. Well, not content with taking women's health services out of the bush, Labor have now moved to make it harder to access a GP, particularly in the regions. Now, general practitioners are generally sole traders, even when they rent a room in a clinic or a medical centre. They're basically a one-man show, chipping in to cover the cost of shared services like reception. But Queensland Labor have decided to impose payroll tax on GPs in a move that treats them as though they are employees of a big corporation. In fact, they're usually micro-businesses of one. The consequence is to make a raft of general practitioners no longer commercially viable as small businesses. And if GPs can't make a living in the bush, they have to go somewhere where they can. There'll be two consequences from this desperate move to prop up Queensland's poorly managed finances. The first is that there'll be fewer doctors available outside of the southeast corner of Queensland. The second is that those who remain will be forced to put up their prices even at a time when people are struggling with the cost of living. Mark Butler and Federal Labor say they want to make Medicare better. Well, the first thing they could do to make a start is stop their state colleagues from making it harder and more expensive to see a doctor in Queensland. Despite the harm this would do and the substantial resistance statewide, the Premier just won't back down. Today, she softened a little saying she'll consider allowing more time before the tax kicks in. But she won't come clean, admit it was wrong and just ditch it. Add to this record high hospital ramping rates, that is the rate at which ambulances have to queue up in the hospital driveway, waiting to get a patient into a bed and attended to so that they can get back to answering emergency calls. And a Queensland health bureaucracy so mismanaged that it can perpetrate injustices like the mass inaccuracies in forensic examination of DNA samples for criminal cases. And it is clear, the Queensland health system is in crisis. But what's Palaszczuk's answer? Whack on another tax. This is a government beset by incompetence, run by the most militant union hacks and torching Labor's traditional strengths. Remember 
and the LNP were ever so briefly in office from 2012 to 2015? Well, then Health Minister Lawrence Springborg reduced waiting list times for surgery to, wait for it, zero. He reduced ramping to 15%. And he did it all without closing rural health services. In fact, he even opened new ones. But right now, 60,000 people wait for elective surgery and 272,000 wait in the line to see a specialist. Ramping is at 44% statewide and 46% regionally. It's not good enough. But let's be clear, it's not that these things can't be achieved. It's that it doesn't matter to Queensland Labor. They're more interested in making sure biological men can call themselves ladies on their birth certificate than they are in whether infant and mother mortality goes through the roof because deliveries are happening on the side of the road. Now that's what I call sick.